Long Borat. In this Cambodian name, the surname is Long. In accordance with Cambodian custom, this person should be referred to by the given name, Borat. Long Borat, Khmer, pronounced, Loing Borat, January 3, 1933 to April 21, 1975, was a Cambodian politician who served as the last Prime Minister of the Khmer Republic from 26 December 1973 to April 17, 1975. Highly regarded for his honesty, he tried unsuccessfully to negotiate a peace settlement with the Khmer Rouge during the Cambodian Civil War. He was later arrested by the Khmer Rouge and executed. He is one of two Prime Ministers to die in office, the other being Chan Sai. He is also the longest-serving Prime Minister under the presidency of Lan Nau for the Khmer Republic. Early Life Long was born in Chbar Ampia near Phnom Penh in Kandao Province, Cambodia, the son of Lai Long Mies and Niang Aing Booth. He attended the prestigious Lycée Sisawath in Phnom Penh from 1946 to 1952, studied in France from 1953 to 1955, then returned to Cambodia to work in the royal treasury. Long had two wives. His divorced his first wife and he married his second wife one year later. Him and his second wife were executed by the Khmer Rouge immediately after the fall of Phnom Penh. Personal Life Long Borat was the author of a Khmer film, Sea of Tears. Long's children are still alive today, some are in Cambodia and some in United States. Long Borat and his first wife eldest child is serving as a judge in Cambodia. Political Career In 1958 he was elected to parliament as MP for Stung Treng Province and was the youngest MP in parliament. He served briefly in 1958 as Deputy Secretary of State for Labor and Social Action and was re-elected to Parliament in 1962. During this period he became known as the author of romance stories, many of which were serialized in newspapers. He was appointed State Secretary for Finance but he publicly opposed the decision in November 1963 by Noradam Sihanouk to nationalize banks and foreign trade, and was forced to resign. He retained his parliamentary seat in the 1966 elections. He was the information minister from 1971 to 1972 and the foreign minister from 1972 to 1973. Prime Minister of Cambodia On December 9, 1973, he succeeded in TAM to become Prime Minister of Cambodia. On April 2, 1974, he became one of four members of an executive board composed, in addition to Long Borat, of Lan Nau, Sisawath Sirik Matak and General Sostin Fernandez. On April 8, 1975, he attempted unsuccessfully to negotiate a peace settlement in Bangkok with representatives of the Khmer Rouge. Arrest and Execution Long Borat remained in office until the Khmer Rouge captured Phnom Penh on April 17, 1975. U.S. Ambassador John Gunther Dean recalls that, unlike many government officials who fled Phnom Penh, Long chose to remain behind despite being on a death list announced from Beijing by Noradam Sihanouk. Long Borat refused to be evacuated. He was a competent, able man, much younger than Lan Nau or Sirik Matak. When I personally went to see him on April 12th, the very morning of our evacuation, to ask him to take his wife and himself and his young children out of Phnom Penh because I feared for his safety, he thanked me but, said he, thought his life was not in danger. 6. General Sak Sutsukin recalled that on the morning of April 17th Long decided to take his family and leave the city. 7. Both General Sak and the journalist John Swain, 8 reported that Long and his family were unable to board the last helicopter flying out of the city. 9. In his memoir, Danger Zones, Ambassador Dean stated that Long Borat had stayed in Cambodia, thinking that he could have some kind of dialogue with the Khmer Rouge. When he realized that that was impossible, he raced to the airport with his family in a jeep to try and get out of the country. When they arrived at the airport, they got on a helicopter with some military officers. 
One officer brutally shoved him off the helicopter. The copter took off. The Khmer Rouge captured Long Borat and his wife and killed them all. Borat's son managed to escape and is now alive. 10. Long Borat was last seen by John Swain, Sidney Shanberg and Dith Pran outside the French Embassy. Swain reported. A black Citron, 11, pulled up and Long Borat got out, his eyes puffy and red, his face empty of expression. When we asked him how he was, he muttered a short, incoherent sentence. His thoughts were elsewhere. Dazed, legs wobbling, he surrendered to the Khmer Rouge and joined the line of prisoners. I could not fail to admire his courage. 8. Shanberg gave a more detailed description of the scene. Long Borat arrives in a car driven by his wife, he looks wretched. His eyes are puffed. He stares at the ground. He knows what faces him. I want to get away but I feel I must say something to him, and Pran understands. I take Long Borat's hands and tell him what a brave thing he has done for his country and that I admire him for it. Pran takes his hands too, Long Borat tries to respond but cannot. Finally he mumbles, thank you. And we must leave him. 12. Soon after, Khoi Thuan, a Khmer Rouge deputy front commander, organized the Committee for Wiping Out Enemies at the Hotel Monorail, 11.57 degrees north 104.918 degrees east. Its first action was ordering the immediate execution of Lan Nal and other leading government figures. Long Borat was executed on the grounds of the Circle Sportif in Phnom Penh. Khmer Rouge Radio subsequently reported that he had been beheaded, 13, but other reports indicate that he and Sisawath Sirik Matak were executed by firing squad. 14. Key Dates, Edit December 9, 1973, Long Borat becomes Prime Minister of the Khmer Republic, December 9, 1973, April 17, 1975. April 1, 1974, the High Political Council that dissolved a day earlier was replaced by a four-man executive council, Lan Nau, Sirik Matak, Long Borat and General Sostin Fernandez. June 17, 1974, Long Borat forms a new 16-member cabinet. March 11, 1975, President Lan Nau orders Prime Minister Long Borat to form a new cabinet and eliminates the post of Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. April 8, 1975, PM Long Borat holds unsuccessful peace talks with Khmer Rouge representatives in Bangkok. April 17, 1975, Long Borat surrenders to the Khmer Rouge in front of the French Embassy and is executed the same day.